So I thought I'd give you a tour of our 2014 Avenue full off-road custom caravan. Just a little brief history, Katie and I started our camping journey in a tent, uh, as most young couples do. From there we moved up to uh, a Jeep with a small trailer, and then we got a Track Shack camper trailer, and from there we went to an Aussie Swag, then to another Aussie Swag, and then we went to this fantastic avenue. So Avenue are full custom builders, basically you go in there, you tell them what you want, and then they build it for you. So our design brief was, we wanted a caravan that could go anywhere that our uh, Aussie Swag could go, and we wanted it to be very off-road capable, so this is what they've done for us. So starting from the very, very front, a uh, lot of caravans now have the full off-road DO35 hitch, as we do as well. We've got a full dual-gal chassis, uh, as well as drawbar, and this one is extra large. It's actually for the size of a 20-foot caravan, ours is only a 16, but as I said, we wanted them full off-road capable. Got the dual bike rack carrier at the top, which is awesome. We always take the bikes with us normally. Uh, very easy to load up and uh, take down as well if we need to. Two nine kilo gas cylinders. We went for the nine kilo over four and a half because we do like off grid camping. So I like to be more remote, a bit more gas. Got the pole carrier here. Over there's the diesel heater, uh, 10 litre diesel heater inside. It's such a small caravan, it heats up in such a short amount of time. Absolutely fantastic. And I can reach the control from inside the bed, so I can turn it on, crank it up. Two minutes later, I can get out of bed when the caravan is nice and toasty and warm. This hatch here is a full tunnel boot all the way through, uh, from one side to the other. There's a hatch on the other side as well. We do have a uh, 12 volt hatch in here, so I can charge anything um, as we're going along as well. Next hatch is our weather queue, baby weather queue. We've got a guest point just under there, so we use this a lot. Uh, pizzas, sausages, barbecues, garlic bread, you name it, we do it. Uh, so weather queue is absolutely fantastic. Just a normal picnic table here. Uh, just dual 12 volt outlets, telephone, uh, telephone, television point. We don't have a TV inside, I opted not for it, but we got provision for it in case the next owner wants one. Purely because we've got laptops and iPads with Netflix and YouTube and all that. Who's gonna watch TV when you've got a scenario like this as well? Um, and I've got a 240 volt outlet for when we're hooked up to power those things as well. Full um, airbag suspension. So we've got the Cruise Master Stage 4 full auto leveling airbag suspension, which is great. Uh, auto level height when we are about to take off, we set it all up uh, so it rides at the perfect height for our car. So side to side leveling for when we're at camp as well. Uh, makes it so easy, it doesn't matter what type of campsite we're on, we're always going to be sleeping flat. Um, so airbag suspension is an absolute must in our world. Pull out chair, fairly basic. Pull out step. Step, pull out step, not a chair, thanks Ollie. So here, this is our makeshift wood rack. Uh, so we just put a little tarp up here to protect the back of the van and we can just strap some wood on the back here uh, when we need it for our free camping adventures. Dual spare wheels, same as the uh, car, we run 285-7017, Jeweler uh, ATD697s. Um, so exactly the same as what we can on the car. So these can go on the car, the cars can't come onto here because of the center um, diameter, whatever is not compatible. But uh, yeah, two spares. Never have to use two at the same time. This side, now uh, this is obviously the bridge. We do have an outdoor shower here. And these two little points here are for a little outdoor room that we can use to put a little bit of privacy for our outdoor shower. We've got a little thunder box as well that we can use because we've got no bathroom inside. Uh, and obviously an outdoor light so you can see what you're doing when you're having your shower as well. We've got three 82 litre water tanks, uh, which is ample for us to be off grid for almost two weeks if we're conservative. Um, usually a week and a half, depending on how much water we're using. 
how conservative we need to be. So inside we've got the 140 litre Waco, but we've got another 35 litre Waco here as well uh, that we use as a second freezer. The freezer inside ice creams. That's why we have a second freezer. I'll have one. After. Um, yeah, the inside freezer is pretty small, so this is for the second one, which is really, really good. Got these protection bars on the front here, uh, both sides, really, really good, uh, just for safety if we're going down steep bars. We've got them on the back as well, you may have seen. Um, also great for hanging out your bathers and your towels and stuff like that uh, if you go to the beach and need an extra clothesline, so to speak, without pulling out the actual clothesline. This is a TV aerial point, as again, no aerial because we've got no TV. And uh, that's pretty much it. So you've got the stone stomper as well. I highly, highly, highly recommend the stone stomper that attaches to the car. First of all, it protects all the front from the stones. But second of all, all the dust just gets swept under the car rather than coming over and has uh, less chance of getting into the car van as well. So highly, highly recommend Stone Stomper and the guy that makes them as well is an absolute legend uh, and is only too happy to help with any inquiries that you've got. Over here on our van we've got our tap raised up nice and high instead of on the drawbar so you can just easily wash your hands and then we'll keep a towel in the back just so you can uh, wipe your hands before getting in the car and driving away. So this is it, our 2014 Avenue. I'll take you inside. So the inside of our van, we'll start from the back of the van because it'll just make life a little bit easier. We've got the twin bunks here uh, and plenty of storage underneath. So as you saw from the bunks, we use them as storage uh, as our two boys now have their own tents. Uh, really, really easy pop-up tents. They take literally two seconds to pop up, uh, but to make our lives a lot easier and set up a lot quicker as well. Just a couple of things that we've got. A little bit of luxury for them in the muck mat on the outside. We put a sea gear under each one just to protect the base. And inside, we have their beds fully made up already. I'll just go inside and show you how we do this. So we've got these mattress bags made up for them. Uh, so at night, and the boys in the morning, all they need to do is zip this up. At night, all they need to do is zip it down. And uh, their beds are already made for them, ready to jump into. So, and then we just zip them up in the mornings, or they zip them up in the mornings, bring them inside, put them on our bed, and um, easy pack up. So they get to sleep in sheets, uh, just like on their beds at home, and makes them really easy to clean up, um, do the laundry as well, like once a week we'll wash their sheets at the caravan park or wherever, and uh, yeah, it just makes it so much easier than them sleeping in sleeping bags, which are really, really hard to clean. So, there we go. That's our setup. Another thing I really like about the Avenue Pop Tops is they put the tie down points on the inside. So if it's absolutely thumping down with raining, you can just jump straight in, undo the latches, do up the automatic roof uh, and you're nice and dry rather than having to do outside latches and getting absolutely saturated in the process. All the bunks on all the beds, so upstairs, downstairs, have these Sirocco fans, uh, which are really, really good. And the boys also have their own shelf for storage. You can see at the back there. And they've also got double power point and 12 volt outlet as well. And we've got a Sirocco fan at the front as well, uh, which is really good. So hot nights, that's all we need with the ventilation that we've got with all the windows. Uh, we keep pretty cozy. So, got the 140 litre Waco fridge. Uh, as you just saw on the outside, we've also got the 35 litre that we use as a freezer. Inside here is all the battery stuff. So, at the moment, we're on 99%. We've also got our water level monitor and water pump, 12 volt fridge, gas, hot water. Got the stove here. We went for a four burner gas. Uh, I don't like the look of the electric element on there at all. So four burner gas, don't need an electric element. You're not using that much gas when you're cooking anyway. Full stainless steel sink. We've got a nice little touch light underneath there for when you do dishes, which is fantastic. This is a great idea by the wife. Put a little hook there. Trifold table. One of the things we did with our cafe dine 
was we actually raised it because I hate that little footwell thing that you get. So here we've got full flat base uh, and into the dead space we built a shoe locker just where we keep our shoes and stuff like that. So it makes it easy for the four of us to sit down at the table for breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever, uh, without having skewed legs. Heaps of storage cupboards. This is another one of my favorite cupboards in here. Just a little fold down hatch to make use of the space under the sink, um, where we just keep whatever that is, the dishwashing liquid. One of the absolute must haves that I wanted in the van was a pantry. There's so many caravans that I see with just these tiny little pathetic pull out things. Wasn't gonna cut it for us at all with our family of four. So we've got a three door pantry here. Uh, it stretches the whole length obviously from the front to the wall and we can fit plenty of stuff uh, in there. Down the bottom you might notice a little cord there. That's actually the compressor uh, which is for the automatic lift up roof. So someone like Ollie can certainly get it up by hand but a few years ago I had a cycling accident where I got hit by a red light runner and totally smashed my collarbone so I can't lift up the roof anymore. So now it's totally automated, done by air compressor. Controls are in here, flick the compressor on and roof up, roof down. Super, super easy and takes no effort and I'll put a video overlay of that one as well. Up the front is our bed, uh, full queen size. It runs the full length, which is great for me because I'm six foot two. So I've got plenty of room in there. Uh, Katie's on the inside because I tend to be the early riser. And of course there's heaps of ventilation with all our big windows. And then we've got all the overhead canvas windows. That goes out to the awning, that's why it's black. Uh, as well, all LED lighting in here. This is a scupper vent. It's supposed to be for when you're off road, but we don't use it. Uh, it's pretty well dust sealed uh, as it is without having to use that. And the thing about these scupper vents is if you pull over on the side of the road to let a road train go through, you stop, and that's what's gonna suck the dust in. It's great when you're actually moving, not so much when you're not moving. So that's pretty much the inside of our van. I didn't show you the microwave. We do have a microwave as well. Um, under Ollie is our battery system. Our battery system is a 260 amp hour lithium and Obviously battery charger, DC, DC charger from the car as well. And we've got four 150 solar panels on the top for a total of 600 watts. So never ever short of power uh, at all, which is fantastic. So we love off-grid camping more than caravan park camping. And the four 150s and the 260 hour lithium allows us to do that, which is brilliant. So that's the inside of our van. Hope you enjoyed it. Katie and I started off camping in tents and then from there we went to a track shack camper trailer. No, we didn't f***ing start again. So the inside of our van. Redo. Um, so the inside of our... <laughs> <laughs> what? What is this guy doing? One of the great things about Avenue is that they have the roof tie down points on the inside. So, what is that? And what was that thing? It was mom, being an idiot. <laughs>